In this film, I'm going to be talking about it's time to retire. My name's Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. This is going to be a sad day for me. Um, I've been doing this work for over 30 years now, uh, man and boy. And uh, I've done it. I love it. I love my job. I'm passionate about what I do. Um, I'm something. I'm enthusiastic about it. But you know what? There comes a time when it's time to retire. To just say, okay, you're getting old. You just can't go on anymore. Just pack up. Just retire. So that's what basically this film is all about. I'm here to tell you it's time to retire. But I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about your soldering blocks and your soldering boards. Do you think I was retiring? No, I'm a little whippersnapper, me. <laughs> right, so it's not me. I'm not retiring. Don't have to worry. I got years and years left in me. Okay, that's it. That's what it's all about. It's about your soldering boards, your soldering blocks, and that's what I've got in front of me here. Now, as I said, it's true, I've been doing this job for over 30 years, and I always try and get my money's worth out of my equipment. Um, as you possibly know, I try and hang on things for a long, long time, and there comes a time when you really do have to let things go, and you have to retire them, basically. Soldering boards, you use them every day. They take an awful lot of bashing, they stick pins into them, you gouge holes into them, you get flux over them, you melt gold, you melt silver over them, and they take a heck of a beating. So what do I mean? At what stage do you really have to say, okay, soldering board, I love you, we've gone through really good times together, but I'm just going to have to let you go. When will that time come? Well, I've got some boards in front of me. These boards are from downstairs. This is what I've been using. This is what Jason's been using. And I'm going to show you uh, the state of them. This, Jason's board. Now, you'll see there these little, they're about 12 millimeter thick uh, solderite boards, I think, or soldering boards. There's no asbestos in any of these, I must tell you. These are soldering boards. They're brilliant. They reflect the heat when you come to solder upon them. They're absolutely perfect. Um, this is Jason's, as you can see, it's looking pretty dire. And on this side, it's half dire and it's half not. But what you'll see is these little black areas here. These areas are, are flux. Uh, when we come to, to melt gold down, perhaps we, put, we get the, the block of the borax curl, we stick it on it, we get some flux, we get some flux on the board and it melts and it stays on the board. This is another one, as you can see. Look at the state of this. This again is pretty dire. We've even got grooves carved into this because I think we melted some gold down on here. We squashed it into the board to give it a certain texture or a certain shape. Now, I'll put a link to a film by here. You don't have to retire these boards. You can rejuvenate them. That's the one. Rejuvenate. That's the word. Rejuvenate. Reju yeah. You can rejuvenate these boards um, by rubbing them against a nice flat concrete surface, something like that. Some people will get like a, um, a sanding drum on it, not sanding drum, what's it called? Uh, sanding, electronic, black and decker, yeah, those sort of things over it to remove all the borax and the so forth and make it flat again. Exactly, perfect. As I shown you in the film just by here just a second ago, that's what I've done. That's what I've done here. Yes, it rejuvenates the blocks to a certain degree, but there comes a time when you've worn them out, you've worn away the top layer and it's quite gritty and it's quite bitty. Um, and this one we could just about have for a few more months, I think, by using this area here. And this has gone too far. Now, this is my board and I'm really embarrassed to show you this. This is my board. It's black, absolutely black. This is what I use every single day in my workshop downstairs where we design jewelry, make jewelry, repair it and so forth. And I'm disgusted at the state of this block, to be honest. Um, because when you come to anneal on this particular block, there's bits of flux, and the flux will attach itself onto the piece that you're annealing. So you gotta try and get the flux off. When you're perhaps soldering a nice fine chain on here, some of the flux that's stuck onto the board will melt slightly. The chain gets stuck into that when it cools down, and it won't pull away from the, oh, I have so, many, so much trouble. So. I'm not going to retire this board because, believe it or not, this side 
is pretty much brand new. I haven't even touched this side. So this is the advantage of these boards. When they become as bad as, to be honest, I wouldn't even let it get as bad as that. When they get something like this, like Jason's block here, this board here, I would turn it over, carry on using it because this is absolutely fabulous. The same goes for these little sort of magnesium blocks, I think they're called, I'm not too sure. And also, charcoal blocks as well. Now this one we've used quite a few times as you can see we've got some uh, depressions in here again we melt gold down we stick tweezers on top we push the gold into the surface to get a shape. We're lazy come on we've got some other depressions by here that we've used when we've done some granulation um, but on this side it's looking pretty good isn't it? So this charcoal block we're not going to retire just yet. If I want to get a nice flat surface back on the block perhaps this surface for instance I will go outside very nice smooth ish cement wall uh, paving slab something like that get that and go around and just take off that top surface so these other blocks here we've used this one again we've rejuvenized as you can see we've got lots of dings in it uh, we've used this one so these we can keep on using I never use these boards these little honeycomb boards I never use them never use them these little thin boards, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, these blocks we can carry on using. These blocks are still fine for a long, long time to come. This is what they look like when they come new. Really nice, aren't they? Um, and this one as well here. Yeah, we got lots of, blo lots of blocks. So don't worry about if your boards look really, really bad like this. Retire them from your day-to-day, -day, every day in front of your bench. Use them perhaps in your soldering station. Use them as a little back plate, something like this in your soldering area or your annealing area, your melting down area, so they still protect the area. You're not having anything resting against them that the flux is going to melt and go onto, but you can still use the boards. So I could arrange these boards together. I can get a couple of pins, some nails to go through, through the bottom here to hold this together. And even though I can't use these on my bench when I'm soldering chains and so forth, I can use them within a nice area where perhaps I'm annealing or melting down and I can still use them and get my money's worth out to them. So there we go. Don't worry, I am not retiring. We're retiring some of these boards. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Smash that little bell icon. If that is something that you're into, don't forget, please give this film a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I'd absolutely love you too. And um, anything else I've forgotten? That's about it, I think. Anyway, take care. See you next time. Bye in your soldering station or use pardon me that was the blocks <laughs>